Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video we have, you guys remember this little sucker that I showed you from Sephora? It's the little color switch by Vermona, and it's a Sephora brand. And it's pretty much just a little rough thing that you can change your eyeshadow color so that way they don't mix and match and all that good stuff. You can do even a blush brush, right? Yeah, or whatever brush. It's usually eyeshadow, but I mean, this one's a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay. You take a dirty brush and you just clean it inside of it, and then it's all clean for a new color so that way they don't, and it totally works. It does, and it doesn't mix and muddle. Now, for those of you who can't afford it or just don't want to spend the money for it, you can totally make it yourself because this material is actually, you guys know those hair bun things? I don't, I forget what it's called. But it, it's the you one like that, twirling. yeah, it's the one that makes your bun look like really fluffy and beautiful. And big. It, this is the exact same material. It's crazy. So there's a DIY and it's super cute and fun to do. So we're going to just show you guys that. And with that said, let's jump right into it. So to start, you'll want to go ahead and grab a magazine, then one of those hair thingy move bobbers we were telling you guys about that you create a bun with. And next, you'll want to grab Mod Podge. I always pronounce that funky. A box of Altoids or any jewelry box. Scissors. This is a small jewelry box that I'm using, so I'm going to show you two different ways, which is the Altoids and the small jewelry box. Now you want to go ahead and take apart the Mod Podge and you grab your scissors and now we're going to go ahead and find our favorite picture out of our magazine that we picked and we're just going to go ahead and pick out your favorite picture or the best picture that best suits you for your box. I have chosen this one right here so I'm going to go ahead and outline it by putting my box over it, the box that I'm going to use to create this DIY and just go ahead and trace it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my scissors and just cut around it so I can make it fit just right. Next, I'm going to take it and make sure that it covers my box exactly the way I want it to. If there's anything hanging out off the sides, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it and do what I need to do. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Mod Podge and I'm gonna use it to cover the entire face of my box to make sure that it seals in the picture that I have chosen for this beautiful DIY box that I have chosen. You wanna make sure you don't leave anything uncovered that there's Mod Podge over the entire face of this box, just like you see me doing right here. So I'm covering it and covering it. It's gonna look really funky, but when it dries, it's gonna look just perfect. After you're done, it might be a little bit messy. You wanna just leave it on a surface where it can dry, anywhere where it just can sit for about two to three hours, and then there you have it. This is the final finish, and see how it's not looking bluish, watery anymore? Now we're gonna go ahead and just open our boxes and then what we're gonna do is grab our bun maker. And my bun maker is kind of weird. It has these like see-through straps wrapped around it. So I'm actually going to cut those off. And some of them have them, some of them don't. Mine tends to have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the scissors and cut that off. And I'm gonna fast forward this part for you guys really quick. Now you want to just go ahead and try to measure it out, the length and the width of it, so you can cut it to make it fit as perfectly as possible. And then you're just going to go ahead and cut it so it fits properly to the box that you have, as I'm going to do here. So you kind of just want to play it by your eyes, just what you're seeing, if it's fitting right, if it's not, and you just cut it and cut it and size it and fix it to however it's going to fit into your box. So I just want to make that really clear for you guys right there. And there you have it guys, it's really easy. There's box one and now I'm gonna fix box two because this is a little thick so I'm just gonna cut it and I'm eventually gonna clean the stuff that's left over in the white box and yeah, just gonna repeat it for this one. And how easy was that? Simple, easy peasy. This is the final result and I really like it. I'm happy how it turned out. So I hope you guys like it. Now I'm gonna take the Tarte palette and I'm gonna go ahead and rub my brush on there so I can show you guys exactly how you can clean your brush off. So let's say you're using this color right here and I'm gonna apply it on my hand as if I'm applying the shadow to my eye. That one's a little light, so I'm gonna use a little darker color. Nope, we're gonna go with something a little darker. I think I'm actually gonna to go to the corner with the black one, yeah. So there you have it. Now I'm gonna go here to my little brush cleaner box and I'm just gonna swirl my brush around until it gets all the excess shadow off so I can be able to use another shadow without them blending together and just not giving me the exact precise color that I want for my shadow. And same thing with the other box. Now back to Jess and I. How cute. I like yeah. this one because it's just prettier. See, it's pretty much the same it thing. Is. The only difference is like, I mean, this one's a little bit more. It is a little bit more coarse. Yeah. But this will do the job. It totally will. And it you, just doesn't grab as much. If you want, you could even like maybe glue it to the bottom so it mm -hmm. doesn't move a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. 
other thing is, if you guys saw I actually put it in this way, what I would do is cut out the round part and make it thinner right here so that this part is more coarse like this and you're actually using this part versus the side of it. Yeah. That's what I would have changed, but it still works either way. It's just gonna work better. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at it. Mm -hmm. I think you can even actually use like a dishwashing sponge. You can cut that and put it into the box and that will clean it really good too, right? Just yeah, like the I rough think part. I agree. That you clean, like, you just need something stuff. rough material and that's yeah. fine. It works. So that's it guys. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think down below. If you have tried this, if you have even better suggestions. Otherwise, we'll see you guys for our next video. Bye.